with a very well tanned Leon Dreisaitl. <laughs> Leon, before we get to hockey, what scares you? You're one of the toughest, and we saw this year last year in the playoffs. You're one of the toughest players in the league, impervious to pain physically or psychologically, but what scares you? Uh, the ocean. Yeah, you got that right. Um, <laughs> I don't know what's down there, and I don't trust it one bit. So I'm, uh, I love the ocean. I love being by the beach, and I'll go in where I can see everything, and the yeah. water is nice and clear, but <laughs> the second it gets dark, I'm out. See, I understand this because I love snorkeling, and I love scuba diving, but I think the bottom of the ocean is disgusting. So on, so but you won't even snorkel or scuba dive or nothing like no, that. No, I don't. I don't think anyone or anything can ever get me to do that. And I, I own it too. I'm, I'm soft that way. I, <laughs> I don't care. It's, it's just something that I'm not. Is there anything else that terrifies you on the level of the bottom of the ocean? Uh, maybe a one-on-one -on -one when you're caught in a bad one-on-one -on -one situation with Connor McDavid trying to defend him. <laughs> that's a scary, that's a scary moment. That is really scary. Yeah. Well, you, you got the good tan going. Yeah, really good. <laughs> It'll look great in a couple of weeks. It'll look fantastic. <laughs> Just like, you know, you, you guys were really going when the break came. And, you know, one of the things, Leon, is that every year there seems to be like two weeks of hysteria around the Oilers. And then you guys seem to kind of figure it out. What were you thinking as we kind of went through that phase this year? Yeah, it, it almost seemed like it was longer than two weeks there where we just like we like we, we had so much um, excitement and so much uh, uh, so many expectations going into the year. And, and, and we wanted to be one of the best teams. And then we start off kind of shaky and not not the way that we wanted to kind of playing 500 hockey. So. Um, I think we're all kind of like, oh my God, here we go again. Like we're going to have to grind our way through this again, but we did eventually. And we've been playing some really good hockey lately. So, um, yeah, big credit to, to the group, uh, our coaching staff, you know, tr staying positive, sticking with us. So our game's coming. But you know, this is a, this is a really different Oilers group. We, we, we saw some of this last season as well. We've seen plenty of Oilers teams that when there's adversity, crumble, cave, crumble, it's over disaster, all of it that's not your team anymore. It's almost as if, okay, we're going to have a bad streak for a couple of weeks and then we're going to, you know, the, the, the plane's going to pull itself out of turbulence and we're going to be fine. Is there very much that mood with the team? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think that always comes from, from, um, uh, experience, right? It's kind of, uh, in the playoffs, there's so many ups and downs. We, we saw it in 2017. We thought the year after was going to be our year and, it's so hard to do it over and over again in this league. So mm -hmm. um, with experience, you just learn to keep it a little more even keel. It's the cliche that everyone tells you. But um, yeah, I think we've done a really good job and we've really grown up in that department. You know, we all assume that these right now are the dog days of the season, you know, late, late January, early February, the season wine, you know, grind, grinds you down. Um, do you find that that's true or is there a more difficult part of the season? Essentially what I'm asking is what's the hardest part of the season, Leon? Yeah, the vacation was really hard that I just had. <laughs> so it was, it was tough. Uh, it was a tough couple of days, but um <laughs> No, yeah, for sure. I mean, we we play so much. Obviously, every team goes yeah. through the same thing. Every every team kind of has the same schedule. Uh, um, so these are the dog days. Um, lots of teams fighting for for playoff spots. Mm -hmm. Lots of meaningful hockey going on. So um, yeah, the teams that obviously are resilient and 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 like and and feel comfortable in these situations and feel comfortable in these these games where you're playing a back to back and you're tired, but you find a way to stick to your system. You win a game 2-1, 3-1, these kind of games. Um, you know, pull your team together as well, right? So, um, yeah, I think we've, we've, we've done a good job of that lately. You're a pretty honest guy. How good do you think the Oilers are? I think we're good. I think when we're playing our game, I think when we get to a game early in a game, I think we are hard to beat. I think we have uh, a lot of speed, a lot of, a lot of skill in our group that, that, um, you know, can come in waves. So uh, I think we're, we're, we're a really good team. What do you think you need? Um, 
I mean, we all know what's out there and what we need, what 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 you guys say, what the media. <laughs> yeah, yeah but <laughs> what we say and what yeah. you say is very right, different. Right, right. Yeah. Um, it is different, but um, I like our group the way it is. Um, we have people that get paid a lot of money in our organization. That that's that's for them to figure out, and that's that's their job to um, to figure out what we need and what they think we need. So. I'm going to leave it at that. Do they ever ask you your opinion? Uh, yeah, Kenny is very, very open, open with us. Um, I, I really appreciate that. I think, again, it is his decision. It is scouting. It's the coaches that, that make the ultimate decision. But he does like the input from, from certain players on our team. And uh, I think we all appreciate it. But like I said, it's his final call. Mm-hmm. Uh, makes it easier when you have players like Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Zach Hyman having career seasons. You've seen these players a lot. What's different about both of them this season? Anything? Because they're both having just like uh, tremendous uh, yeah, seasons. Yeah, yeah. Uh, amazing. They're both, I think in, in there, there was a time where, um, you know, maybe I wasn't going. I think, and those are the guys that pick up those games, right? And they know that and they yeah. sense that and they've done it all year, really. Um, and and that really goes back to the playoffs. Himes and Nuge, there's such without those two guys, we we're not we're not a team, right? We're not um anywhere nearly as 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 successful as as we want to. So they're they're a bit of the heartbeat of our team, uh, in a quiet way, very quiet way, but um love having them. They're just amazing hockey players. Has Connor been unselfish enough? Sure seems like it. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, he's, he's been obviously having a heck of a year. Like, I mean, Mm -hmm. what, 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 what more can you say? Um, he's, I think he's found his way in, in terms of knowing when to shoot and when to pass. And, um, it's, it's scary because it was always there, you know, Mm -hmm. and I even as crazy as it sounds, but I even think there's another step (laughs) to him, which is crazy to think, but, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun watching him getting better. I want to ask you about Campbell. You know, it was a big adjustment. It always is. It was a big adjustment. I don't know, like, I know you. You'll never say anything bad about a teammate, and I really respect that about you. But were you worried at all at the beginning of the year when, as he struggled to find his way? I think you're, I, I don't think we were worried about him in terms of his ability. We, we, we all, we all, seen what he did in Toronto we we know what he did there he played well for the majority of the two three years that that he was there I think more so as a person right you if you get to know soup he's such a just such a good loving guy right he he wants the best for you he wants the best um he he's so brutally honest about his own mistakes at all times right so sometimes when you're too hard on yourself it can weigh on you and i think maybe that's what happened a little bit he signed a big deal he obviously wants to show the the city our team what he's all about but he's certainly uh been amazing for us the last the last month let me ask you about evander kane um when he went out with his injury did you find that teams played you differently that they felt okay you know what kane's not there let's really push here uh yeah for sure I think Hayner just brings a uh, a swagger to the team that um, maybe at times in our group isn't naturally there as much we're a very quiet group mm-hmm. um, so he brings something on the ice uh, a little bit of swagger a little bit of like intimidation I know no one's intimidated by him but he brings toughness he brings hard-nosed hockey that that uh we we obviously need in our lineup um and he's yeah he's a big 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 time factor to our team you know um last time we spoke i think we talked a lot about you mean i've i'm fascinated by this i think a lot of us are your ability to score goals shooting from the goal line which is just like the the hardest skill um is there anywhere in the offensive zone we'll never see leon dreisaitl shoot from like, is there one area where you're like, nah, I can't put it in from there? The blue line. I can't. I, I can't shoot from there. It's too <laughs> soft. It's, it would bounce a few times and then goalie makes a save. And yeah, it's, that's a little too far for me. Um, but other than that, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty comfortable letting it go from anywhere. Awesome. Thanks so much, Leon. Yeah, no Always problem. great. Thanks for having me.